This is Nick with Logos by Nick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this vector dripping effect with Adobe Illustrator. But before we get started, if you'd like to sharpen your logo design skills, be sure to check out my Logo Design Academy. It's an 18-part video series where I go over my entire creative process for coming up with logo ideas and implementing them from start to finish. I'll put a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So we'll go ahead and get started here in Illustrator. The first thing I want to do is just create a new document sized at 1280 by 1280. And I just want to set up the documents so that we have a similar workflow on our screen. I'll come up here to where it says View. Make sure you don't have anything selected over here like Snap to Pixel or Smart Guides. We want to have all of that disabled for this tutorial. And over here where it says Window for this tutorial, I will have the Control window open, the Align window, the Color win window, and stroke as you see over here on the right hand side and those could either be floating menus or you could dock them to the side of your screen like that. So to get started here uh, I'm going to create some text and I'm going to apply the, tri the, uh, the dripping effect to some text. So I'm going to grab the text tool, I'm going to click on the canvas to generate some text and I'm going to click up here and look for a certain font. I'm using a font called Milkshake. You can use whatever font you'd like. I tend to think that this dripping effect works best with like a uh, so, sort of like hand-drawn style fonts, but you can use whatever font you'd like. If you'd like to use Milkshake, it's a free font. I'll put a link in the description to where you can download and install it. So I'll select that, and I'm just going to apply this to one letter for this tutorial. Let me grab the Select tool and scale that up. I'm going to hold Shift and Alt so it locks the proportions. And let me take this type and convert it to outline. So I'll go to Type, Create Outlines. Let me scale this up a little more. And I just want to align this on the center of the page like that. So what I'm going to do to add drips to this letter here is I'm going to be toggling back and forth between the direct selection tool and the add anchor points tool, which is over here. And instead of clicking back and forth manually with the mouse, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts throughout the tutorial. I'm going to press the letter A. I'll press the letter A to get the direct selection tool. And then I'll press the plus symbol to get the add anchor points tool. So let me start off with the direct selection tool. I'm just going to Hold Alt and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom in over here like this. I want to add a new anchor point in here right here. I'm actually going to press plus on the keyboard and I'm going to click on that to add a new point in there. And then I'll press A on the keyboard to get the direct selection tool. And then I'll just click and drag this down like this. Maybe even hold shift so it brings it straight down. I'll take these little handles right here and pull them out to make this drip a little wider at the bottom. And I'll take these handles up here and pull them in. So the drip is a little thinner at the bottom. I mean, yeah, at the top and then gets wider at the bottom. Let me pull this handle in as well like that. And do the same thing down here. Maybe make this a little wider. Yeah, these handles can be a little tricky to grab sometimes. Maybe I'll make this a little thinner like that. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add like another little drip in right here. So I'm going to press plus to get the add anchor points tool. I'm going to click right there to add a new anchor point and then press A on the keyboard to get back to my direct selection tool. And I'll just pull that down like that to make another drip. And again, I'll maybe make this one a little smaller. This one's a little, make it a little wider just to make it look different. We don't want, we don't want it to look too similar to this drip right here. And if you notice right here, the curve between these two drips, it doesn't look that natural. I want to make this a little more fluid. So I'm going to adjust these handles, maybe pull this down. Whoops. Maybe click on just that node and pull this down a little bit. Bring this handle in like that. That's looking a little better. This side isn't looking too smooth or fluid either. So I want to click on that node and let me just adjust that a little bit. If you accidentally click and drag on something like I did just there, you could just press control Z on the keyboard to undo it. Let me bring this, oops. Let me take this and bring this down as well. See how that looks. That's looking better. There we go. Now if you zoom out, you can see looking pretty good. We've got a little bit of a drip going on there. So all you have to do is you have to go through and manually do this to these other areas here. Like let me come up here. I'll add another one to the top. Let me grab the, uh, the add anchor points tool. I'll add an anchor point right there. And then maybe another one right here. And I'll press A to get back to the direct selection tool. Let me pull this down like that. Pull this handle out. Pull this handle out. Play around with these handles. This is one of those things where you really got to like adjust the handles and play around with a little bit to get it right. That's looking pretty good. Do the same thing over here. 
maybe I'll change the position of this one. Bring that over here like that. And that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to add a few more of these and then I'll, I'll catch up with you when I'm done. All right, so as you can see here, I went through and I added some more drips to my letter here. I think you should get the idea at this at this point. This is something that could be applied to an entire word or, or even like a logo or any vector object really that has anchor points in it. So I think that'll do it for today's tutorial. That's how you can go about creating this vector drip effect on your designs using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.